There's Carlos there. Two of them. Oyster catchers over here. One there. And over here. Uh, and they can hear common sandpiper. wild-fledged birds from the west of Scotland, but there's no ruling out that they've come across from Scandinavia. We have had occasional visitors from Scandinavia in the Northern Isles, and until we manage to get a good view of their leg rings, if they have any, until then we're not really sure who they are, so we're looking forward to finding out as the season progresses. So what's the chances of success? And they, they are, uh, they are a, a relatively young pair. That affects, doesn't it, the chances of their, of their success here? Yeah, they're, they're long-lived birds, they can live into their 30s and they don't start breeding until they're around about five years old generally. So this pair we think are around about four years old. They are young but also they are capable and we have had young birds breeding successfully, especially in the east of Scotland as well. We've had four-year-old birds raising young uh, successfully for the first time. So if they're, if they're left alone without disturbance and if they've got plenty of, of food and if the birds themselves behaviourally are capable, then there's every possibility that they might just succeed. But chances are, generally, first-time breeders aren't always successful. And what we're we talking about, is it, is, it a, is, it a, is it a single young they normally raise, or, or how many would you normally expect? There are sea eagles. There have been great financial benefits. I mean, apart from the fact that they're, they're amazing, exciting birds, lots of people make their living now off giving people tours and encouraging There's a lamb. Its eye's been pecked out by a raven while it's been get, being born. And this is the poor yow. As you can see, I'm lucky I just came on them just now feeding them. Hey, lammy. Hey. So, that's the eye that was facing up the way. Okay. Not good. The other eye here, which is obviously fine. So we'll have to take these home. And that's quite hellish. And it's a perfectly nice big strong lamb if it wasn't being pecked in the face. So the tongue's been pecked off. Mm -hmm. The eyes. But there's no eye anymore, really. No. But the ear. They have the ear. the ear as well. So, 
drinks for that. Because they can't drink. Because they can't drink with no tongue. It's a snipe drumming. Oh, wow. It's very high up, but that's definitely a black or red throated diver. It's very high up. That's what I could hear. There's two of them. Oh, I've never seen them so high up. First time this year I've heard them and seen them. Oh, there's something. That to me is more like McGanzer's. That's obviously a meadow puppet. Wow, it's all happening today. That's a missile thrush. Right, come on lady, you got to leave the shed. I can hear a golden plover too. That's obviously made up of it. Jack Dawes, Curlew, Skylarks. Good to see the ravens are having a good feed in the deep box. The sheep won't be.
So when I was feeding at the other end of the field, now you've got the place that they lamb the most often. And uh, a bunch of ravens just came off this bit here, I haven't seen it yet. But, uh, she's not standing beside her lamb. It would be pretty difficult to catch. And here we have uh, But yeah, it's just not thin or anything, she should have lamped that fine. She not even swollen or anything at the rear end. So, that lamb's dry. It's, uh, it's got up and it's been walking around and... <sighs> just another casualty. The egg goes off to get fed and... Virtually still warm, you know. And, uh, got no chance of catching her because she's just been uh, terrorised by the ravens. Sad. by the ravens and she's given up on protecting the lamb which means I've got no chance of catching her and that's actually pretty much the worst part of it is that it makes my job as a hill shepherd very difficult all I can do is take that away so the ravens don't have anything more to eat you can see Sized head on the lamb, you know, presented properly, feet forwards, okay. They've only had a go, well, I think they've had a poke at the other eye as well, taking the ear off and a bit of that ear. Ravens there. Just see how many ravens come up and find a shot. They're all going behind the hill now. I think they're all buggering off, as they should do. There's a tremendous number of ravens about the place. It's just sick. There they are, look. Apart from it's dead and eaten by ravens, would have come out normally, not got a swollen head. Should be sitting there with its mother, just like that one there. But instead, it's dead. Thank you, ravens.